With me is Tony Benshoff. He holds the current Guinness World Record for the fastest luge speed down the track at 86.6 .6 miles per hour. Now, luge is it's kind of deceptive because to the untrained eye, it looks like, sure, at the beginning you've got a lot of energy, you're, you're powering on, but then you just kind of lie there. <laughs> So what's actually going on in your body as you go we're, down the track? It, it appears as though we're lying there, but it's, it's, it couldn't be further from the truth. Um, the whole way down we're making steers. We actually ride on an edge, so our, our sleds are going straight unless you do something about it. Um, so we're making really fine adjustments and sometimes really heavy steers all the way down the course to make it to the finish safe. I've read that it takes about eight to ten years to actually develop the skills to become a world-class loser. What skills are those? Um, well, uh, the skills, first of all, you need a very fast start. So there's a lot of technique involved in that start, a lot of strength, a lot of explosive power. Um, another great skill is being able to navigate down the course properly. So steering in the right points, um, you know, doing everything it takes to make it down safely. Um, and then uh, another final component is having really good position on the sled, which sounds simple. But at 90 miles an hour, sometimes it gets a little tricky. Um, it's an aerodynamic based sport. And so we need to be really flat, have very pointed toes, that are feet that are really high in the air, and we need to barely look. Sometimes we don't even look at all. So sometimes you can't actually see where you're going as you're going down the track. Right, correct. Isn't that sort of terrifying? <laughs> That's why it takes so many years to get, you know, adjusted to the sled and the sport. And um, we use a lot of peripheral vision. If we have our head up and we're looking directly in front of us, that is a, a ton of wind drag and we just can't afford it. And it's a sport that's timed to thousandths of a second. Now, 2010 won't be your first Olympics. Back in 2006, you placed fourth. What's it like to come fourth? It's such an amazing accomplishment, but it's, it's so close to the medals. How yeah, does it feel? It is. It was close. Well, of course, it was bittersweet. That year, I medaled in almost every World Cup that I competed in. So I was right there. I was ranked top three in the world. And I had a great race, but there was three guys better than me that day. So, of course, it was very upsetting that I didn't get a medal. I would have made USA Luge history by being the first American man to, uh, to ever get an Olympic medal in Luge. But I had a great race, and I still finished fourth. So ultimately, I was happy with my performance. There are a lot of interesting technical aspects in being a luge. You add weight to your suit, how does that work? We do. Um, well, luge is a gravity-based sport. Mm -hmm. So if you're a lighter person, you can wear lead to make up for the difference. So on the start, everyone weighs the same. You mentioned that you can get up to speeds of over 90 miles per hour. Your Guinness record is 86.6. .6. What's the discrepancy there? <laughs> The only reason the Guinness Book hasn't been broken yet is because no one else has gone through the whole process of getting the Guinness people to come out and, and break the record technically. So um, I'm honored to be in the book and it's great, but unofficially we go a lot faster. Fantastic. Well, we're looking forward to seeing you speeding down the track. Thank you very <laughs> much for talking to us. No problem. Thank you. I'm Ella Morton and you've been watching Rocket Boom.